because these, this was something to do with what he'd studied in school and he knew quite a lot about it and he voiced his opinion. Warner Brothers' brutal year in the stock market recently hit a new bottom as shares of the media conglomerate sank 8.1% in early June, taking a bigger punch than peers. All this has been attributed to the company's mistreatment of their former star Johnny Depp. On November 5, 2020, the London crew of Warner Brothers' untitled third Fantastic Beast film were notified by the studio of a move that came as a surprise. Johnny Depp had been pulled from the shooting schedule. The studio film's chief, Toby Emmerich, had made the decision the previous day to sever ties with the star who was reprising his role as dark wizard Gellert Grindelwald in the five-film franchise. Almost two years later, the industry giants are still rattling Depp, but this time that has attracted a huge, unprecedented financial burden and losses. So what has the company done this time, and how much stock has it lost as a result? Let's find out. Warner Brothers made a tragic blunder in firing Johnny Depp, and they regret that mistake every passing day. For starters, it's been more than three months since the release of Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore in most markets, and nobody seems to care. Sure, people have watched it, and its global box office collection appears to be approaching a respectable $300 million mark, but it's nowhere close to what a time-tested franchise is supposed to inspire and earn thanks to Depp's absence. This is a movie set in the same world as the cultural phenomenon and box office behemoth that was the Harry Potter series. It also shares the creative team. David Yates is at the helm of the franchise, just like he was with the last three Potter films. But for some reason, the franchise continues to be a case of diminishing returns. Market experts believe if Depp remained as the movie's main cast, it would have broken box office records. And following Amber Heard and Depp's trendy divorce, it's been reported that the actor's former employers are sponsoring a documentary documentary that will showcase how the trial fared. HBO is believed to work with WB to bring the documentary to life. Immediately after the rumors of the alleged documentary reached the masses, Warner's stock started diminishing rapidly as millions of Depp fans believed this would be a direct attack on a person who has already proved his innocence before the courts. See, the fans' problem with Warner Brothers started a few days after Depp lost his case against the UK publisher and was essentially fired from Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. And this is where Depp fans think Warner Brothers was hypocritical. At that point in 2020, both Depp and Amber had been accused of physical abuse by one another, and the trial that would determine who abused who still hadn't commenced. And Depp wasn't the only one involved with the Warner Brothers franchise. Amber was too, Depp with Fantastic Beasts and his ex-wife with Aquaman and the DCEU, but only Depp was asked to resign. Now, Fantastic Beasts is making massive losses. The fans are already planning on boycotting Aquaman 2, which will hit the big screens early next year. At a budget of $200 million, Secrets of Dumbledore will have to earn around $800 million if it's to recover its budget, let alone make a profit. The film needs a miraculous recovery at the box office, driven by a never-before-seen section of fans to drive its business with positive word of mouth, who are now disillusioned with the franchise. When it comes to content quality and quantity, no competition even comes close to Warner Brothers. The Discovery Channel has many more TV shows and movies than any other competitor in the market for youth-oriented films, yet their stocks are still drastically headed for the bottom. There are many great competitors in the market, but the real difference is how the company is structured to trade blows with companies with similar offerings. Netflix, Disney, and Amazon are just some examples. Warner Brothers' portfolio contains a wide range of content from major films like The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and Game of Thrones. With so much quality content under its belt, it makes sense that it can potentially emerge as an industry leader, but only if it stops attacking and mistreating Depp. There you have it. Do you genuinely believe all the losses are down to the Depp factor, or has it been brought by the usual market forces? Let us know in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more of such amazing content, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of them.